Now, if you, you take the <laughs> if you take the, the the manner in which we have operated in the ANC, we have not gone as far as the level where if a person has either charged or whatever must then move aside. I don't think it is 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 fair. I think the ANC must respect the constitution of the country as everybody does. You are innocent until proven guilty. For the ANC to have that kind of rule, it means you are saying you define the constitution of the country in reality. You are. Is that acceptable? I don't think so. Because the constitution is the law of all laws. Now, why do you do so? There must be some motives that one does not know. As you say, when I was part of those, all those positions, we couldn't make that kind of a decision. It's not right. It is undermining the right of people to participate in the ANC, in reality. It is, it is also against the constitution of the country. This country protects everybody, including members of the ANC, why, in this case, the members of the ANC should be victims of what the rule or whatever in the ANC? I mean, those are my views. Okay. And I'm so sure I'm go we are going to the conference to discuss it, my brother. Maybe you'll be sitting up there. <laughs> <laughs>